Kan vi lus? Åh, du er simpelthen en disse hund. Simpelthen en disse hund. Det er store. That's good.
사올 텐데. Hello and welcome to Kemper Bushcraft Viking Heritage. Today I'm in uh, my black forest and uh, yeah, I got Cornelius with me. But uh, I have to have him in lease today because I know there's a lot of deer in this uh, part of the forest. And last time we were here, he, uh, he was not on leash and then there came a deer and he ran after it. So I won't risk that again. So uh, he has to be in leash, but uh, I think he'll join it anyhow yeah and today I'm out here and uh, talking about something uh, that has interested me for a while uh, Vikings and uh, Native Americans the Indians in the uh, in Canada particularly and uh, that's why I got this tomahawk and uh, I'll tell about this um, awesome tool a little bit later uh, together with uh, my Viking axe that I have here and uh, you can see there's a big difference between these two axes or hatchets. So uh, I'll talk about that and um, the impact that the Vikings had on the uh, Native Americans and uh, also the other way. So yeah, but now I will uh, like to uh, chop a little bit of firewood uh, and then I saw some uh, mushrooms. I think it was uh, canterals over there and I'll pick them up and I use them in my uh, food today. So I'm going to prepare a little meal here uh, together with my coffee. Yeah, but now I think I'll chop some a little bit of firewood and then uh, go on a little mushroom hunt.
A good handful of canterals, so I just have to clean them. Yeah, and for that I use a little brush. It's not good. Yeah, Cornelius, it's nothing for you. You don't like this. It's not good to clean them with water. Uh, it's better just to do this. Remove the dirt. Yeah, and, uh, not much on these. Yeah. And then they, they are clean. And yeah. I think I'll cut them a little bit smaller. This will do. So uh, put it over here, and then put my fireball up. I forgot to uh, show you beside the the mushrooms I have a bread yeah a big bed home and I uh, also got this a piece of smoked meat tenderloin and I can eat this without cooking it and the mushroom is going to be uh, fried with the uh, butter so yeah
I think it is finished. And then I just take some of this smoked meat. Let's see. And a little bit of mushroom on. Oh, yeah. I think it looks great. A little meal for today. Mm. How for you, Cornelius? If you want this.
and uh, while the coffee is resting, I will talk about this awesome tomahawk or axe hatchet. It's from a company in Ukraine that's called Fadir Tools, and of course I put a link to it. They had a lot of uh, gear there, a lot of knives and axes and so on. You can see it here, uh, a wide variety of uh, items, and uh, yeah, and I was um, contacted by them, and they told me I could uh, pick an axe, uh, <laughs> uh, which one I would like. And uh, I was looking at the Viking axes, but then I fell for this. Yeah, I think it's so cool. I always had a passion for tomahawks, and this one is really awesome. It's small, lightweight, uh, good grip, and a, a very um, heavy head, so it's a good one for chopping. And uh, when I got this, I got to think about the Vikings. Uh, uh, in the sagas, uh, Erik the Red and uh, the Icelander sagas, uh, they are told that uh, Leif Eriksson, we call him Leif the Lucky here in Denmark, he went and uh, discovered uh, Northern America, uh, Canada. And uh, for many years there was no evidence of that, but in 1960 or 61, uh, they discovered a settlement in uh, Langshaw Meadows in uh, Newfoundland. And that stated that the Vikings did uh, visit uh, Wineland, as they called it. And then I was thinking, did the, uh, the Indians or the Native Americans and the Vikings, did they trade something? And uh, I know that this is a typical uh, Indian weapon, a tomahawk. Uh, and I thought, well, I have to uh, investigate this a little bit uh, to look it up and see what I could find about that. And I was a little bit surprised because I thought that uh, the Indians, the Native Americans, could make weapons of steel or iron. Uh, but yeah, and there's different opinion about that. But uh, most people say that they didn't, didn't uh, use iron for their weapons. They used clubs and uh, yeah, even stones, uh, hatchets, and uh, they also uh, probably made some tools and uh, weapons out of uh, copper. So uh, that was a little surprise for me. They just they first get in contact with the iron when the uh, the other appearance came after Columbus in the in the 1400s. So, um, but I thought that maybe the Vikings <laughs> would have had a tomahawk from the Indians. And uh, that was not true. Uh, that couldn't have happened because they didn't make iron uh, hatchets at that time. Um, but it led me to uh, uh, be curious about this, uh, this subject. So uh, uh, either way, I like this. And uh, even though it's not a Viking X, uh, I'll have it on me when I'm out here making my trips. Uh, perhaps on bushcrafts, perhaps on Vikings, I'm not sure, but uh, I think it's an awesome axe and it fits good and it fits good in my belt. So uh, yeah, yeah. And a little thing, another thing, um, uh, Eric the Red was called Eric the Red because his hair was red and his beard was red and uh, his son uh, was called Leif Eriksson and Eric was the son of uh, Eric, Eric the Red. And uh, that was how it was in many years. Uh, the father's uh, uh, first name was the, uh, the son's uh, surname. So um, uh, Eric uh, went to Ericsson and uh, Life Ericsson was called Life the Happy here in, in Denmark. And actually my name, Lauritsen, it's my uh, surname. It's uh, my grand-grandfather <laughs> Somewhere in the, in the 18th century, that was uh, called Lauritz, and uh, his son Christian was called Christian Lauritzen, Lauritzson. And uh, in about 1900, uh, the Danish government changed that, so uh, everyone had the same surname, and uh, that's why I was called Lauritzson uh, after my grand grand uh, father back there. But actually, in, in Iceland, they still have uh, that with the father's forename. The father's name uh, is the son's aftername or surname. And uh, also, the daughter, if uh, I had a son uh, back then or in Iceland, he will be called Thompson, and my daughter will be called uh, Thompson's daughter. 
uh, Thompson's daughter, and um, until she get married, and then she will take the husband's name. So uh, my son would be called Casper uh, Thompson, and my daughter uh, Trine uh, Tom's daughter. But that's not the case. Only if I lived in uh, in Iceland. And what would you be called, Cornelius? Yeah. Your boy will be called uh, Corneliuson, yeah, <laughs> Corneliuson, yeah, that's a great name. And uh, actually, uh, Langshomeros, I don't think I pronounced it right, but uh, and found and at the Viking settlement they found traces of iron there, uh, uh, melted iron, and made uh, something out of that. And uh, perhaps the Indians, the Native American, would have traded that with some. Something from uh, from uh, from their part of the the culture, and uh, yeah, there's not a lot of evidence about that, but I think it's very excited to hear about and uh, read about, and uh, yeah, I like that a lot. And uh, I know a lot of you also are interested in uh, these kind of uh, things about our history and so on. So that's why I'm continue uh, doing that on my channel. And another thing, my little fireball. Almost every week I have something that, I have someone who are asking where can I get it? And unfortunately, uh, the company Kuni that made them at the Kickstarter project doesn't make them anymore. I told you that before that um, they're not interested in producing new ones. And I think that's very sad because it's also an awesome uh, fireball that I use all the time. So um, I really hope that somewhere else will take over and uh, put that in production. I would appreciate that very much. And uh, yeah, I think it's a good product. I know a lot of you are very pleased with it. Those of you who are so fortunately to get it under the Kickstarter project really enjoy using it and I do it too. So yeah, but uh, now I think my coffee is finished. So um, I'll have my little special coffee here. Thank you again for joining Cornelius and me out here in my black forest. We really appreciate that. Always good to see you out here.
It's really been some nice days here the last couple of weeks. Uh, Indian summer, as we call it, uh, high temperature about 20 to 25 degrees and no wind. It's the same today, but uh, from tomorrow, Tuesday, it'll begin to be colder and windier and come some rain. So I guess this is the end of the, the summer, the long summer we had here in Denmark. Uh, we had a good May and June. July was not so good. Uh, a lot of people are vacationing there. But again, here in uh, late August and uh, 1st September, the weather is very fine too. And it's not, uh, it's often like that. September is a good month here in Denmark and uh, it's still summer. There's no uh, yellow leaves on the trees, still green and uh, yeah. And uh, I have something uh, I would like to share with you. I made a, a channel, uh, both a YouTube channel, uh, Instagram and a, a Facebook page where I uh, put up my photographs I make with my camera. Uh, I sold my Harley some years ago and I bought a Leica for some of the money. So uh, now I have uh, got my passion back for photography, especially black and white. And uh, those of you who are interested in that or will support me, you go in and check them out and uh, perhaps subscribe to my channels. And it's called Tom Sondergaard Photography and the Sondergaard is my middle name. My uh, full name is Tom Sondergaard Lauritsen, uh, but I think Tom Sondergaard, Sondergaard uh, is a good name. So uh, yeah, I start that up and uh, perhaps if you are interested in such things, follow me there. Yeah, folks, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video with Cornelius and me out here from my forest, my black forest. Yeah, it's a long story. I call it my black forest. It's not the black forest in the southern part of Germany. It's in the northern part of Jutland, where I have a nice place here. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad you joined us for a little meal, a cup of coffee and some beer in my drinking horn. And then Cornelius and me, yeah, looking forward to see you again on the next one. Bye bye, take care. Are you correct? Yeah, you take it now. Oh.